In this lesson, we'll take an introductory look at the analysis of an argument essay. For this task, you are presented with an argument, and you must write a critical analysis of that argument. Specifically, you must critique how well the author's conclusion follows from the evidence. In other words, is the conclusion appropriate given the evidence? Well, since the arguments for this task are typically weak, the conclusion is never appropriate. Your job is to explain why it's not appropriate. Here's an example of a typical GMAT argument. Here the author takes information about one musical group and makes conclusions about how a different musical group can become more financially viable. The instructions tell you to analyze the line of reasoning and the use of evidence in the argument. This means identifying questionable assumptions and providing alternative explanations or counterexamples that could weaken the conclusion. Included in your analysis, you can discuss evidence that would strengthen or weaken the conclusion. You can suggest changes that would make the argument stronger. And you can identify what might help you better evaluate its conclusion. Okay, here's another example of a typical GMAT argument. In this argument, the author takes a handful of limited information and concludes that photographers will be more successful if they work in color rather than in black and white. Once again, the instructions tell you to discuss the strength of the argument. Now you will find that the instructions for the argument essays are always the same. So once you've seen one set of instructions, you've seen them all. Now the general strategy for handling this writing task is as follows. The first step is to deconstruct the argument by identifying and summarizing the evidence and the conclusion. Next, list the flaws in the argument. Once you have identified three to five flaws, find one or two ways to strengthen the argument. At this point, choose the top two to four flaws and write your essay in the predetermined format, which we will discuss in an upcoming lesson. Finally, once you have written the essay, you should proofread it. And that is a general overview of the steps to take when tackling the analysis of an argument essay. In the next lesson, we'll look at techniques for identifying flaws in an argument and after that, we'll examine the essential elements of a good essay template.